The longest running campaign finance case in Georgia Ethics Commission history has now come to an end. Uh, the commission voted to settle a case that has dragged on for years against former insurance commissioner and gubernatorial candidate John Oxendine. Senior I team reporter Dale Russell has been covering the battle and was there when it was resolved. Dale? And it's been quite a battle. The original complaint, Courtney, against John Oxendine was filed when he ran for governor in 2010. Now he lost that race and then battled that complaint tooth and nail in court and before the commission for years. Dismissed at one time, refiled the long running campaign finance war has finally ended. This isn't even a penalty, is that true? This that isn't even a fine. After 13 years, the Ethics Commission voted to settle the last of the campaign finance cases against John Oxendine. All in favor, say aye. 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 The commission that once accused Oxendine of illegally spending nearly $100,000 in campaign donations on a home down payment, fancy cars, athletic club, and child care expenses settled the case not with a bang, but a whisper. Any opposed? Aye. It's, it's just basically turning over whatever is left to make everything go away. John Oxendine was in his 30s when he burst onto the Georgia political scene. He was elected Georgia's insurance commissioner four consecutive terms and then in 2010 ran for governor. Hey there, how are you? But he would finish fourth in the Republican primary. Nathan Deal won the primary race in a runoff and later was elected governor. That run for governor led to the two ethics complaints Oxendine has battled for years. But that final case stymied by seemingly endless staff controversy and turnover and then COVID. Commissioners, the parties have reached an agreement for a consent order. Thursday, the commission announced a settlement agreement in which the commission dropped its campaign finance case against Oxendine, who in turn agreed to shut down his old campaign account and forward the remaining money to the state, approximately $128,000. My client is pleased with the result because um, all of the allegations that have been asserted against him over the past 13 years have now been dismissed with no findings of any violations and no penalties. And he's now able finally to put the 2010 gubernatorial election behind him. This is the best available option that we have. The vote was four to one to accept the settlement with Commissioner Rick Thompson, who was the commission director when the case was first filed, voting no. I do feel it's somewhat frustrating that there's no omission of wrongdoing and there is, we're not even calling this a penalty. But Campaign Finance Commission Deputy Executive Director Robert Lane says it's all a win-win for everyone involved. What did the state get out of this? Well, the state gets a uh, little under $132,000. And for that, the state can show that we are not going to let anyone misuse campaign funds, no matter how long it takes. Now, while all this was going on, John Oxendine was also challenging the campaign finance case against him in court. But that case has also been dismissed as well, wiping his campaign finance slate clean once and for all. Russ? Yeah, 12, 13 years. That's really quite a long time.